Now, giving young babies between four and six months old tiny tastes of smooth peanut butter could dramatically cut peanut allergies. That's according to new research showing there is a crucial opportunity during weaning to cut allergy cases by 77 percent. Well, the allergy has been soaring in the UK with one in 50 children now affected. Scientists say the government's advice on weaning, which says no solids until around six months, needs to change. Our health and science correspondent James Gallagher explains where this advice is coming from. Well, this is a big study that's being conducted by a team of researchers in the United in the United Kingdom and the United States, but its implications are truly global. And they've been looking at updated evidence that's come out over the past 15 years or so on what happens when you give peanut butter and things like that earlier on in life and showing that you can massively reduce the risk of peanut allergy. And that's in sharp contradiction to what many people will be familiar with, because you don't have to go back that long to when the advice was, don't give peanut before the age of three. And is, is this advice going to be applied globally? Well, this is the thing. This is a, a series of scientific studies. Um, this is an, a, an official government recommendation, but truly it would apply globally because the findings have been tested in lots of different races and ethnicities. And in many respects, it is a global story, really, because this actually started in Israel, where peanut is given much earlier in life, a peanut-based snack is given from kind of like earliest weaning. And some researchers went there and went, why is nobody here having peanut allergy? And yet it is soaring in other countries, like in the United Kingdom. It's like one in 50 children now has a peanut allergy. And it really stemmed from there and showing that actually early exposure, while the immune system is still learning and developing and trying to figure out what's friend and what's foe, what's safe to eat, that earlier exposure is what can help prevent peanut allergy. James Gallagher there. Well, I'm joined now by the Acting Head of Clinical Services for Allergy UK, Margaret Kalman. Thank you for joining us. Um, what do you make of this advice? What's your reaction to, to this research? Well, we're Allergy UK. Um, we, we welcome this recommendation from the research. I mean, the findings obviously support the introduction of peanut products into an infant's diet um, from four months for babies with severe eczema. And that's obviously under the care of a healthcare professional and then for six months from those without eczema. Um, and the research also suggests that the kind of the delayed introduction that we've seen in the past, um, you know, to about 12 months, could actually increase the risk of developing peanut allergy um, with, with, in high-risk infants. And obviously, just to state the absolute obvious, that, that no one should be giving whole or crushed nuts to a baby because they would choke. So it has to be given very carefully in forms, form of a butter. And pe parents might be a bit nervous about this, giving a four-month-old um, these products, because that's not what people have been told for so long. Yeah, so obviously the, the evidence um, is suggesting that for kind of um, most infants with, with, that are not high risk, so they don't have severe eczema, um, the recommendation is to is be giving um, you know, peanut, peanut butter or um, brittle or, or buffs, you know, Something that's age appropriate to that age group from around the age of six months where we're seeing um, early introduction of peanuts around four months is for those um, infants at high risk and that would always be under the guidance of a healthcare professional to make sure that that infant is developmentally ready as well. So you're saying it's, it's when a child has got eczema is there anything else that would be an indication of being high risk? And that would be down to the the allergy professionals themselves and um, you would assess the child and um, decide, you know, but the, the main um, kind of category for high risk um, has been severe eczema because um, that should, there's a progression to develop um, food allergy with high risk individuals from other research studies. And, and how much of a problem have you seen with peanut allergies? Is your sense that it has been, the problem's been growing? So uh, um, allergy, food allergy in general is growing um, kind of year on year. We've had a fourfold increase over the last 40 years. And we know that kind of peanut allergy affects roughly about kind of one to two percent of children in the UK. So that's quite a high percentage of, of children. And some of those can also go on to develop kind of um, severe allergic reactions, which can be life threatening, such as anaphylaxis. So this this kind of this research, which has been an accumulation of a few different research projects, including the EAT, the LEAP, and the PAS studies, all have kind of accumulated and to kind of inform this research to show that. And this actually could be really useful in, in, in kind of the, the reduction in incidence of food allergy 
so develop and prevention of, of, of food allergies in, in our kind of our food allergic population, which is really, really kind of important information that we need to kind of take into account mm. More and look on... at food recommendations. Thank you, Margaret Calman from Allergy UK. Thanks very much. If anyone wants more information, there is more on our website.